Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks so much for joining me on one of the coolest videos ever. Uh, this is a spectacular piece of history. We're gonna walk around, we're gonna see it, and we're gonna understand why it might be that. Cause you say, Tone, it's a, it's a Defender. I mean, they're really cool, but why is it so spectacular? Well, the story behind it is equally as important as the vehicle itself. Let's get started with that. Here we go, all right? So imagine you're an Air Force captain. It's the 70s. Uh, you get stationed in the UK in the early 80s, right? Princess Diana's maybe just being born. I don't know, somewhere around, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the 80s are exciting. You decide to buy yourself something like this because you need to get to work. You got no choice, right? You can't say, listen, man, it's snowing out. I can't get in my fighter plane. Uh, I can't uh, get to the base. You have to be able to get there. He needed to get there. He bought this, right? This, okay, is a 110. 110, not the 90, but the 110 pickup version of this, right? Which is... I want to say one of the greatest four-wheel drive vehicles ever built. If you've never driven one or never owned one, uh, it is amazing. If you're watching this video because you have owned one or have driven one, then you're going to really appreciate this because of the way it drive, drives and the way it was taken care of. So, this is almost all original, this truck. Almost all original. So, imagine stationed there in uh, the UK, eventually moves back here to uh, this area, DC, right? Where a lot of bases are and uh, lives in Virginia keeps it on his farm there. He finally passes and uh, we're able to, to find the next new person that's gonna take care of that, maybe that's you, uh, to take on the legacy of this. If you've never driven one again, I know I'm repeating myself sometimes, but when you drive these, you understand why they're so expensive. They are ridiculously expensive. It was expensive when it was new. Uh, one of the things I love about it too is its originality and authenticity. So we metered it uh, with this paint meter here to see the thickness of the paint around the, the vehicle. And when I buy vehicles, I'm gonna tell you a secret that I see that's one of my go-to things right away. When I buy a vehicle, the first thing I look at, most people say, oh, I look at the paint, I look at the interior. I don't, I look at the tires. You can tell them the tires, who cares about the damn tires? You can get any tires you want. Agreed, that's exactly why I look at them. When somebody puts Michelin tires on a car, right? The most expensive tire you can buy, you know that that's their baby, because that's what you would do. If they're putting on a set of super cheap tires with a no-name brand of like Flexen MGs, right? You know they're just flipping the vehicle, they had no in interest in taking care of it at the rate that they should. Hence the reason why this has a rebuilt engine in it, right? 3500 Rover V8 is in this vehicle. Uh, the clutch was done, transmissions, things like that. We're going to walk around. We're going to look at some cool stuff, man, because this is a piece of history. All right, so the color of this is fabulous, right? The, the white top with this here. Um, you have your choice too. They make uh, some soft tops for this. You could also get a white soft top that matched this right here, which would be pretty cool to see the whole thing that the night. Also, they make a hard top that goes on the back of this. Lots of different ways to enjoy this truck. But in the meantime, it comes with the soft top now with a frame and all that good stuff. Uh, the marine blue paint, I'm gonna get to in just a second, but what I wanted to show you is a couple things that are important. So for instance, a vehicle that's rusted out and has to be replaced. These little things right here, which may seem unattractive to you, are really why people buy these vehicles because these are factory welds, right? Circa 1984. We're doing this video in 2024, right? 40 years later, these factory welds are still in place. All of these are still here in place showing you how many panels they put together to make these so sturdy and so solid. This has a tiny little ding right here and uh, to get to that ding, we would have to take the in inner panels out to get to it is how solid and well built these are. Big wheels and tires or whatever. Still got a great mug. Love that, right? This has a locking hood as well. But what I wanted to show you is the fact your original paint had a really nice shine to it, right? And it's still shining like it should. If it's believed to be uh, fact original paint and it's authenticated, uh, this is really uh, a cool, cool piece of time capsule. And not to mention, man, you can drive it and use it, right? How cool is that? If it was over restored, it was like brand new, like never been driven, $200,000 spent on this, you would never use it. But the simple fact is, it's a gorgeous truck and ready to go right now to use however you want. 
One of the things I like about these kinds of vehicles, if you wanted to go to a car show, right? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but if you did want to go to a car show, the cool thing is the likelihood of seeing another one of these is very slim. And here, uh, it's been detailed nicely by the team here at Flemings, right? Because all of this stuff in here is original as well, but I've got a fresh motor in here. It does have some things that we forget to ask about. First off, it has power steering, right? We forget to ask that because today's modern car has that. This has it. It has power disc brakes. A lot of cars back in the day did not have power disc brakes. They had drum brakes, right? Or they just had regular brakes and you don't want that. This air cleaner that we installed on here, um, we can either leave this on here or do the round one that kind of matches other uh, pieces on there. I'll let you decide that. Um, but in the meantime, that's what that's our plan for that. And the cool thing is you can do some changes and make some things that you want to do uh, however you want. Original paints under the hood. Um, and then this is kind of nice too because it has a hood lock, which is really cool back in the day. Uh, and that was probably a factory option. Is that boom, you just lock it. And now nobody can get in there and get to your stuff. Still got a great mug. All right, this is set up as a work truck, right? There's a lot of things you can do. For instance, we already have power here, right? Multiple locations for a hitch, right? Bike racks, stuff like that. And this is important because you might say, well, I don't really love the look of that. Well, this can be painted if you want to, but this is galvanized, right? So it's all original. That's why it's still in really great shape. And I love these tail lock locks. Tail tailgate lock, sorry, because they're, whoever designed, designed them was ingenious. You just pull up and you let it fold down. Instead of having to twist things that rust out and do that stuff, and boom, uh, there you go, and you're ready to go uh, for that right there, all right? Then this comes off if you want. Uh, the other thing, too, that you should see is that back here, you could put jump seats back here because they sell seats for back here. You could put a mat back in here. Uh, all kinds of things could happen. It could be just a utility pickup for you if you wanted, just to have on your farm and go to shows and what ha I don't know, man. It's just, it's beyond cool. And when you see it in person, it's great. Throw the, uh, the cover on it as well, which adds a nice uh, safety to it. So you can carry some stuff and everybody doesn't see it. It's got locking places for the batteries and stuff. It's, uh, it's just good. And uh, this, I, I believe, is probably the reason why this is used to pull other people out of the stuck positions they get in. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our, oh, sorry, this way. How you doing? Mm, mm, mm. All right, this is the correct side to get in. I gotta tell you what, dude, you're driving down the road in this, driving from this side, it's just a whole nother world. It is super cool. People are like, wow, what's going on? It's just great to see the driver on this side. All right, so inside here, uh, this is where I feel that these vehicles shine uh, a lot too, because they are, while you may feel, uh, heavy duty and luxurious all at the same time. They're also utilitarian, meaning they can be used. This top comes off if you want to. The windshield folds down. How fun would that be right at the farm? Uh, you got four wheel drive. You got a full array of gauges right here, which is kind of nice. Uh, and it's super easy to work the shifter, get in there and do that. You got a sliding rear window. This has the original Blaupunk sound system from 1984 in it. If you wanted to, they sell a console like this, it's locking. So this has some cup holders and stuff like that, but they sell a console here. Oh, matter of fact, this is locking. Okay, it's good, so you don't need to do that. Uh, and then we could put the radio mounted in there, right? And you could lock that, that way if you had the top off, you wouldn't have to worry about theft or anything like that. Um, I can tell you personally, I've driven this, the power is great. Cause normally you're in like six cylinders or four cylinder vehicles that are, you know, sport utilities of this age. This is a V8, it has great torque. Uh, the engine is actually a derivative of the 215 aluminum V8 that, uh, that Buick put out in the early sixties. And it's gone for a really long time. It's, uh, it's migrated into many different forms and uh, it's still uh, pretty cool, but it is an all aluminum V8, which makes it very rare. It makes it very light and it also very powerful, not to mention the one under the hood is fresh and ready to go. All right, so we close up the video. I would refer to this as a heritage vehicle, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. 
These are legendary, right? You can watch many movies from the uh, 60s and the early uh, series of these, uh, two A's and what have you. In the desert, the British uh, using these vehicles, they were reliable, they went places that no other vehicle could go. This is exactly what you're getting here. Not to mention, <clears throat> it's right-hand drive. It's a one-owner vehicle with almost all original paint on it. As far as we can tell, we've electronically metered it, right? We say almost because we can't really tell if anything's been replaced or not, but just for sake of, you know, uh, speaking, uh, it seems to be all original to us and which is amazing in the simple fact that it's so well taken care of. The reason why I say that too is because you can see all the pinch welds uh, and detail stuff around. Vents are here, drivability is amazing, the V8 torque, the new engine with receipts and, and stuff along the way of service. Uh, you have disc brakes, you have power steering, so you have a real world vehicle that you can use all the time, not to mention, not to mention it makes you smile just walking up and seeing it. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000, we'll tell you all about this uh, Defender 110 uh, pickup. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. That helps get our message out. Share it with uh, your people. They might like it as well. It's a pretty cool piece. And if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel. And we're sending out new stuff all the time. I think you'll see something you like. <laughs>